We're here at Hardware Pioneers 2023 and I'm joined by Gubinath and Thomas at Cavalry Wireless. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is head over this way to talk to you about the hardware behind your, uh, your system. So, describe what it is that you're offering today. So, we are a new pioneer in an already crowded space of Internet of Things. Yep. And Cavalry Wireless is a San Jose, California headquartered company mm -hmm. and we are offering a integrated one-stop shop solution for customers if they are keen to get the hardware and the uh, connectivity and device management and the services all in one place. We are the right stop for them to pitch and get what they need. But if the customer just wants our hardware solutions alone, they are most welcome to try that. So we have a variety of products, but in this conversation today, I would like to just focus on a couple of our products. Yep. And uh, one of them is what we call is the C16 QS. Uh, it is a low cost Qualcomm platform uh, based on the QCX216. And what's unique about this product is that uh, it is one of the most cost competitive products. And we as Cavalry offer it uh, as a European SKU or a Latin American SKU or a North American SKU or a global SKU. And the product has multiple iterations behind it. It can come with Genesis, without Genesis, with eSIM, embedded SIM, and it can also be enabled with our cloud connectivity platform as well. So it is like pretty much whatever a customer developing a solution needs, he can get it all in one go, or he can choose, pick and choose what he wants. And we have, for example, uh, for a customer you're developing a product in the fleet management or tracking space, uh, we have enabled a few features like separate power systems for the cellular aspect and separate power system for the GPS tracking, and thereby they can optimize the power uh, management and also have a very, very cost optimized solution. And there's be one more product I would like to talk about and that is uh, the, what we call the C41 QS, which is probably one of the smallest NB IoT uh, products in the world. And this product, again, is based on Qualcomm QCX212. And this is another interesting product, which we will offer with GNSS, with eSIM. And this product uh, has also ability to be connected to our cloud. And there are millions and millions of devices out there who can, which can be connected using this NBIoT technology. And the last product I would like to talk about today is uh, C42QM. Mm -hmm. uh, the C42QM is uh, also a Qualcomm product based on MDM9205. Mm -hmm. And in this product, uh, what we try to offer is a global connectivity. So a single product which you can ship anywhere in the world. Uh, it's called LTM, NBIoT yeah. with 2G fallback. And also all the bells and whistles, which I just explained, eSIM and uh, uh, Genesis and cloud connectivity. And one more additional thing is coming this in the next couple of months. We have going to enable this product with satellite connectivity, what we call as non-terrestrial networks. So you get a single product which can be talking to you and to your cloud, whether it's on land or on sea, because the satellite connectivity will enable it to be a bi-directional communication platform for your product and your product can tell where it is, your solution can tell you where it is, uh, depending if it's on, even if it's on the sea. And so that's going to be quite useful for asset tracking as you go on long journeys across the ocean. Absolutely, yeah. So I, I have a lot more to say, but in the interest of time, I would rather have uh, my colleague here, Thomas, who can speak about the cloud and connectivity Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Uh, right, well, let's move over here with Thomas to see the cloud connectivity solution. So yeah, uh, could you go ahead and go through what's going on here? Yeah, so I just, uh, as just said by my colleague uh, Gopi, uh, we are first a module maker. Uh, we can provide the module only without the connectivity. So this is our, I would say, our business core. Uh, it's the module. Um, and once our customers wants to have, or I would say, activate the option for connectivity, we can also provide to them the eSIM inside the module, the coverage for the connectivity and the platform uh, to manage uh, the, the module and the connectivity. So we are not only providing here uh, a connectivity solution uh, as a classic one, I would say. It's more like a services that includes uh, module management, such as here, as you can see, device management. You can see as well here, data plan management. You can see as well, group management. And we can also provide some services for messaging, such as API, MQTT broker, 
and all that. So basically, we can provide the whole blocks for customers uh, to implement their module and activate from the module and with the platform the whole uh, solution for connectivity. So we can become uh, basically the only IoT connectivity partner uh, for our customers. So we are first, I repeat, a module maker, and then we can extend the offer by adding the connectivity layers uh, with the ASIM, the coverage, and the platform, which is uh, very rich here. Now, if I, uh, I got the presentation slides and I was going through it and I was quite interested by what was offered. And if I remember correctly, I believe I read something about uh, over-the-air updates about changing operators and providers. Is that correct? Yeah, so basically, as many, I would say, connectivity platform, we can provide the photos. This is more like a classic feature. Mm -hmm. uh, we can provide this through many of our services for messaging, so it's pretty kind of common. Uh, but the photo is one of the main features that show. Yeah. And so that's quite useful if you've got a lot of devices uh, around the world in different areas and you might need to make uh, remote changes to those. Yeah, so basically what you can do remotely with this platform is the photo. Uh, this is kind of very important because once once you have more features and people uh, want to add the features in their actual deploy device, they can do the photo directly. But also you can uh, remotely uh, monitor the, the, the modules and the connectivity. So in the module, there is uh, around 45 parameters that you can see on the module, such as PSM status, EDLA status, signal uh, uh, strength, uh, IMSI, IMEI. So it's very, very rich and you can have instant live data about the module itself. And as well, you can see the behavior of the network. You can download how much data you have consumed. You can you can see how much, I mean, when it was, it was connected, when not. You can also activate, suspend. There are many kind of, uh, I would say, button uh, or features that can help you monitor and control way, well your fleet of devices. Uh, and this includes the photo, that's true. And I suppose just before we end this video, I've got one question for you. For the viewers who are watching this out there, if they wanted to get into these modules and this software, what would you recommend? So if they want to try out and understand what is the value and the added value of Cavalier Wireless, uh, what we always advise is to purchase a kit or some samples or some LGA or NPCIe format, whatever they want to use to test it. Uh, but the best way would be to have an eval kit that we have for all of our modules. And from that point, they can test the module itself and the connectivity platform. Well, it was absolutely a pleasure to meet you today here. And thank, thank you ever so much, Thomas, for taking the time. And for those out there, if you want to know more about Cavalier Wireless, then check out the link in the description.